microwave meals aren't available in the Philippines. Shock horror. Um, there may be SNR now. Um, they weren't when I first moved out of the Philippines, and you're still going to be pretty limited. I highly recommend changing your diet anyway. You do not know what goes into that food. On top of that, the Philippines, you can even have a cook come in and do it for you um, if you can't cook. But I do recommend learning because, like myself, um, I enjoy cooking. Um, I know some people see it as a chore, but I also like to know what goes in my food. I also like experimenting with things. Um, so, yeah, don't rely on microwave meals. I know a lot of people have a Western assumption on things. It's one of those things that won't be there. Um, to get microwave meals, I wouldn't even know where to look. And I've traveled a lot around, <laughs> around the uh, Cebu and a few other islands. And it's something I've never seen, I'll be honest with you. So be aware of that. If you're used to living on microwave meals, you may be stuck with pot noodles. <laughs> or learning to cook. There's a lot of fast food stuff around, mind. But even that, I don't recommend learning to cook. That's all I can say. <laughs> One of the things we used to eat a lot of was um, soy sauce, chicken and white rice. Because it only cost, I think... About 170, 130 pesos, which would feed me, April, and even sometimes uh, my wife's in-laws as well, for for less than 200 pesos. That price has gone up now. That was 2007 prices. But even then, you have to adjust your diet. You're not going to get what you want in the same way that you're used to where you are now. It's an Asian diet. There is other stuff available, but it comes at a premium. Mm -hmm.